I'm going to skip my whole apology about how long it's been and just say that I'm going to make a genuine effort to start vlogging again because I want to, first of all, but also I think I need a some sort of distraction in between job applications and general shittiness of life and wanting to die. Somebody messaged me on Tumblr saying that um, they would like to see me do vlog every day Halloween, which I'm thinking means like vlog every day October, which I've always traditionally called Vlogtober. Um, <laughs> and I think I might do it depending on where I am in at that time. But in order to do that, I think I need to actually get comfortable with vlogging again. I've lost that. It's weird. <laughs> in a couple months ish ish, Isaac's going to be moving to another state and that's going to leave me here. Um, hopefully I'll be in a situation financially where I can just stay here and live here by myself. That would be great. Even if it was just temporary, even if just for a few months I live here by myself and then eventually like got an apartment with friends or something. I think that would be best. The problem is though with my current paychecks if I was to pay the rent of this place by myself that would be about two-thirds of my monthly income <laughs> and that's not a good thing long term. But this place is seriously the cheapest place and I've been watching for years since five years ago when we started renting it. There are even studio apartments are like $200 more and I've obviously looked at rooms to rent and of the ones that will allow pets, there's maybe four that allow pets. They're normally really descriptive with what kind of people they're looking for and it's like always like looking for a guy, not a guy. Looking for someone of faith, not me. Um, looking for somebody, this is one, somebody who um, is very very quiet and only listens to like classical music and um, what else did it say? Something about must be a night owl who enjoys staying up until like 1 a.m. talking about ph philosophical things. It's just very specific. So that basically narrows it down to only ever being like one room for rent that's a possibility. And that one room for rent is normally like only $100 less than this whole place. And I'd probably be sharing a bathroom. So it'd really be kind of great if I could just stay here for now, as much as I hate this house, as much as I can't stand the neighbors. So obviously I've been trying to find another job and it's come to the point where I'm trying to find completely new jobs. <laughs> I am not going to go into detail right now, but I really desperately need to get out of this place that I'm currently working. If I could find like a full-time job, that'd be great, but that's not going to happen. So I've been trying to find a couple part-time jobs and I was just hired on to one part-time job that is three set days a week and it's only a temp job, but it's like at least it would be some extra income for now. The issue with this is that I tried to change my availability at my main job to exclude those three set days. Doesn't seem that difficult to do. And they rejected it and I don't know what I'm going to do because immediately after they rejected it they scheduled me for a couple of those days that I tried to request off. <laughs> um, yeah. I've been trying to remain positive and I'm trying not to cry right now but I can't guarantee that's not gonna happen because my eyes are already starting to tear up. I've been trying to remain positive but it sometimes becomes really difficult when it's just one thing after another and it feels like I can never ever get a break from bullshit. Surprise, surprise, I'm also having car issues right now and I need, N-E-E-D, need a car for both of these jobs that I currently have. I always get, well, every time I have car issues, people are like, take the bus, walk to work, not a big deal. And it's like, it is a big deal. It's, I don't live super close to where I work. But walking there at 5 a.m. before 5 a.m., leaving at like 4 a.m. to walk to work um, with bad knees is not really a great idea. Also, the bus system really sucks here and I mean it doesn't even run in the time that I have to go to work. So that's not going to really work out. And the other job that I just got, the temp job, I'm basically working from my car so I need a car. There's no other choice. I called the car place today 
which took me about five hours of crying to build up the courage to call because anxiety is a great thing. I wanted to just get an estimate of how much it would cost to cup to fix just a couple of the millions of issues with my car and the person said that um, they were gonna look everything up and email me and it's been hours now I think and I'm, I'm still waiting on that one yeah so as of right now I don't even know if I will be able to afford to fix the main issues <laughs> great my battery is dying um, I'm gonna go but I'm going to definitely see you again soon and I hope you're all well please comment if you watch this far comment with what you're watching on Netflix I don't know if you can see my screen right now but I was just watching Gilmore Girls and crying <laughs> I hope you all have a good day bye